Hi, this is Amato. In this video I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between John van der Wiel and Lubomir Vtachnik that was played in Aarhus in 1983. And where is Aarhus? Aarhus is the city in Denmark. In this game John van der Wiel had white pieces and he started with e4. Vtachnik played c5 and we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4, knight to c3 defending, and black played a6, and we have neither variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to g5, e6, f4, queen to b6, poisoned pawn variation. Queen is attacking pawn on b2, which is known as the poison pawn. Queen to d2. Queen takes pawn, attacking rook, rook to b1, queen to a3. It is a white to move. The most popular move in this position is f5. Maybe it's the best move. In our game, bishop to e2 was played. Bishop to e7, white castled, and black played knight to c6. Better way to continue was knight from b to d7. Knight to c6 was played. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and e5. Black didn't see anything wrong with his position because he is winning the pawn. So, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, queen to c5, this is check, and black is winning pawn on e5. King to h1, queen takes pawn, and black is two pawns up. Bishop to f4, attacking queen. Knight to e4, attacking white queen. Another way to continue for black was Queen to a5, and after bishop to f3, bishop is attacking pawn on c6, bishop to d7, after rook to b7, rook to c8, and it uh, looks like that black is holding. Still holding. Okay, in the game, knight to e4 was played. Knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop to f3, attacking queen, and x-raying pawn on c6, queen to c4, defending pawn on c6, and attacking pawn on a2. Bishop to d6, and that move is preventing black from castling. Black played f5. Looks like he was in a panic mode, that's not the best move. Better was rook to a7 looking after that bishop on e7 f5 was played, and now rook from f to d1, d8 could be in trouble after bishops are exchanged. Rook to a7, rook to b4, attacking queen, and black says, why not, let's grab one more pawn. Black is three pawns up. Would you rather be white? or black. Have a good look. It is white to move and he captured bishop on e7. What's wrong with this queen? Have a look at this queen. What's wrong with her? She doesn't look herself. Oh, she's a bit sick because she ate the poison pawn. Okay, let's continue with our game. It is black to move and uh, he's about to capture bishop on e7. He has a choice, taking with king or taking with rook. In the game, black captured with king. Let's check this. If rook takes, then we would have this continuation. Check, and after king to f7, bishop to h5 could be played, or even just simply taking rook, and white is better, much better. In the game, black captured with king. 
and disposition, white made them all, and black resigned. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that white played in this position. Ready? White played queen to d4, forking rook and pawn on g7, and black resigned. Black is losing in all variations. I can show you just one variation. Okay, let's say that black played rook to d7, queen takes pawn on g7 check, king to d8, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, check, king to e7, check, after king to d6, rook to b7, queen to a1 doesn't work, neither queen to b1, uh, let's say king to c5, queen takes bishop, and now if queen to a1, bishop to d1, and we can stop here, white is two pieces up. What can we say about this game? Well, we can say that grabbing pawns ended up in disaster for black. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.